it's the beginning of the year we've got many days ahead now with the days that we have ahead i don't know what it is that you've planned do you have new year's resolutions i, I don't know you should have some plan of the year and uh, at these early days of the year, I'm wishing you great success. And with success comes someone ahead of you who's been there, done that, that can always teach you if you are willing to learn. And today we have a great guest who's done quite a number of things that he's going to share with us. And he's going to tell us, because this is now tell us, he's going to tell us about success mindset next level growth yeah the other level was last year and now we are going to another level are you ready darren kid is coming and we are going to meet him together with you so if you're ready join me as we go and meet our guest today here we go Hello, darling kid. Hello, Anthony. How are you? I'm fine. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you as well. Yes, welcome to Now Tell Us. Well, thank you for having me. And I was checking out all your great trainings and informations and interviews. And so congratulations on doing an amazing job. And thanks for having me. Good. Thank you, too. And I was also, also checking your platforms and I, wow. I was owed by the following that you have. <laughs> and I ask every every listener, every viewer who's there to just follow up with uh, Darren Kid and go and see for yourself. Now we're going to share the links at the end. So stay tuned to the end because we have quite much to cover. But before you go there, we would like to know just a bit of who is Darren Kid. And let's start with your name. How I saw that name and I haven't seen it before. Please explain to us. I thought it's a name that, uh, okay, you better tell us. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think my name just says who I am because no matter how old I get, I'm getting ready to turn 50 years old and I'm always acting like a kid. So even though I'm almost 50, I act like I'm, you know, 10 or 15 most of the time. But uh, I'm not sure where the name originates from. Matter of fact, we've been doing a little bit of research, but um, as I get older, more that that tends to fascinate me more as well. But yeah, Anthony, I appreciate you know the the uh, the great intro, and and um, I'm excited to hope give some of you some aha you know moments over the next few minutes as we go through some things. Yeah, and the only letter that is missing me uh, the missing there for me is G. <laughs> G. G, G is missing. <laughs> and then you're going to be the daring one because I know that you've been uh, there doing things and uh, you've dared quite much. And uh, yeah, so we are going to learn more. Where are you based, if I may ask? I'm in Virginia. So I'm in okay. the U.S. In Virginia. Yes, right in the middle of the state. Mm, beautiful. And uh, what have you been doing? Uh, or rather, what were you doing in the initial stages when you were actually a kid? Not now. You know, I was born and raised about 30 minutes from right where I am uh, right now mm -hmm. in a little small town, Appomattox, Virginia. And that's uh, where the Civil War ended. And uh, I think I think the town is, if I'm not mistaken, 1,500 people. The county is maybe 10,000 people. Mm -hmm. So I was raised in the country. My family was, you know, we, we weren't wealthy, but I was blessed with a great family. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. And then you grew up to become, what has been your career? What, what things have you done so far and accomplished? Maybe we can have a glimpse before you go and learn more from your websites and uh, platforms. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, what's, what's interesting is normally when I get an introduction in my mind, I'm always like, all right, hurry up and stop saying all that stuff because I can't wait to tell them the backstory. So they see that, you know, for 30 years, I've been an entrepreneur mm -hmm. and, you know, and I've been blessed to, you know, generate, you know, help generate several hundred million dollars in revenue and multiple seven figure income and in magazines and books. And, you know, very fortunate to be interviewed by Grant Cardone on a, 
uh, you know, leadership, uh, uh, an advisory council with John Maxwell on stages with people like Brian Tracy, Mel Robbins and Les Brown, all of these great people. But what they do not see until they hear my story is it didn't start out like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's the great part. I struggled. And 25 years ago, my family and I, we were on government assistance. We were bankrupt. Our car, my car was repossessed one street over from where I am right now. Um, you know, couldn't feed my family, couldn't keep a job, couldn't make it through college. I was depressed. And to be honest with you, didn't have a lot of hope. And, uh, and so that part of the story, and, you know, it was the day that I walked in my bedroom and closed the door behind me, walked over to our closet, pulled out this big Coca-Cola plastic piggy bank where I told my daughter, Hey, someday we'll go to Disney world, you know, someday. And, and my dad, unfortunately passed away going someday we'll go do this and someday we'll go do that. Mm. And someday it never came. And, and that's what I learned. Someday leads to a town called nowhere. But then I was seeing other people and I'm like, man, some people, some days are other people's every days. And I wanted a better life for my family. But here I was pulling this Coca-Cola plastic piggy bank out of our closet where I told my daughter someday we'll go to Disney world and I've got it on the floor getting change to find money to eat. Mm -hmm. And, was the day that when she walked in and saw me doing that, ran out of the room crying. And I'm like, God, how could I get this low where I can't feed my kids? I can't support my wife. I can't keep a job. They repossess my car. Everybody in my town knows I'm a failure. You know, what hope do I have? But that was the moment when she ran out and slammed the door. I go, that's it. I've had it. It hurt bad enough that day. And when I walked in the other room, and I put in a, a three by five card and put on the wall. I will until, and I go, that was the turning point. I go, no matter what it takes, my family deserves more. And if other people can do it, I can do it. And I don't care. I, I'm going to be unstoppable. No matter how many times I get knocked down, I'm going to continue to get back up. And Anthony, that was the pivotal point that over the last 20 to 30 years, investing multiple six figures in my growth and mentors and reading thousands and hundreds and thousands of books and events and millions of dollars in mistakes to finally get to where I am now, where I want to be that person that I wish I would have had back then. Mm. And we have some witnesses who have seen you come up and do what you've done and learned from you. We have Gene Hodges here who said, I hope I've got that right. Daring yeah. is one of my mentors. I have been blessed by his trainings and blessed with a great company. I have been in a shell for most of my life, but through motivation by him and others, I have a vision of great success. And this is what I'm wishing all the past, all the people who are listening or watching us here, great success. And what a day to begin with this uh, episode. Because we have a year ahead of us and we know with your motivation, with your inspiration and insights that you're going to share with us here, we're going to have a great year, a successful year. Yes, uh, it, it comes that day, as Jim Ron says, that day, or you used to say, God rest his soul in peace, but he left uh, quite a mark on this earth. That, that day that you've got to wake up and say, I've had it and uh, blow the tires of that old junk that you've been driving and say, this is the day that my life is going to change and I'm going to be a someone who's different, who's a accomplished, someone who's doing things. And that, that day came for you. And then you have what it is that you have right now to tell us. Now, we want to have this success mindset to go to our next level of growth. And uh, the show is yours. Drive, drive, dive us into us with everything that you would like us to hear this first week of 2023. Go ahead. Absolutely. Well, you know, yeah. And for all of you right now, I mean, the world has gone through some crazy challenges over the last, you know, two or three years. And one of the things that took me a long time to learn, and, and it's all how we frame things and our perspective. So mm -hmm. I used to think that, man, all these bad things that are happening to me, it's terrible. Like obstacles and challenges, they're my enemy. When in reality, obstacles are your best friend. It's not the easy times that make us grow. And without obstacles, there is no elevation. Mm -hmm. As long as we do the right things as we're going through those challenging times. 
And, um, and, and there's quite a few things that you can do. But when I look back, sometimes you go, man, the worst times of my life actually ended up being the best times of my life because mm -hmm. it pushed me out of my comfort zone. It, it, it made me a different version. So when we start to have the perspective, hey, look, things don't happen to me. They happen for me. Um, life and business, it's an emotional roller coaster. Mm -hmm. You know, storms don't come to stay. Storms come to pass. This too shall pass. So that's one thing that I would challenge you to reframe how you look at the challenging times and the, 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 the things that come your way, because it's not a matter of, you know, it's Rick Warren who wrote the book Purpose Driven Life. He said mm -hmm. either you're in a storm, you're going out of a storm, or you're getting ready to go into another storm. That's life. Mm -hmm. As we kick off 2023, you know, it, it's the same version that got us to where we are is not the same version that gets us to the next level. Mm -hmm. It's going to take a new way of thinking. It's going to take some new skills, some new behaviors. And so as you start and kick off 2023, and Anthony, this is what what's fascinating. Most people, they spend more time planning their vacation than they do their life. Mm -hmm. So really think about what, what do I want? If, if, I, if I stepped into the future and ran out to the end of 2023, and I'm visiting all my goals and my dreams, as if they all happened, what would that look back like? So mm -hmm. when you visit your dreams and then you come back and now let's look for the stepping stones that we need to get us to where we want to be by the end of 23. Mm -hmm. and that's, that's my challenge. Get clarity on what you really want. Have a compelling future that's going to pull you. That's the magnet that's going to pull you into the new year. That's going to help you battle the emotional roller coaster. That's going to give you the I will until, you know, attitude that no matter what it takes, I'm going to continue to push forward. So that's my number one. Get crystal clear clarity, a compelling future on what you really want. And one more part to that, this this makes a big difference. We're always mm -hmm. talking about, hey, what are your goals? What are your dreams? What's your vision? Because the clearer the picture of those goals and those dreams the more, the more drive you have on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Motivation is a motive for our, our actions. Reasons reap rewards. So that's, that's absolutely true. And you got to have a vivid picture, very detailed. But then on the other side, I would encourage all of you to start writing down what is the pain that you're going to experience if you do not go out and accomplish what you want to accomplish in 2023. Mm -hmm. So now you have the push and you have the pull. For me, I started thinking about, man, I don't want to, because people that say that money's not that important. Well, I believe it was Zig Ziglar or Jim Rohn said, yeah, it's not everything, but it ranks up there next to oxygen mm -hmm. because it gives us options. And I found out, Anthony, during challenging times, how much money we have can determine whether we live or we die. You know, not having money. When I was driving my mom away from the hospital, my dad passed away and she said, I will smack the next person that says that money's not important because look at how much time it robbed our family because we we're always worried about money and it's too late. So when you start to really sit down and dig deep, then you're going to be willing to fight through those challenging times in 2023 and you're going to have a I will until attitude. You're going to be unstoppable. You might get knocked down, but your attitude when you get up, hey, they can quit on their family. I'm not quitting on mine. So have crystal clear. So you're reframing the challenging times, knowing that it's not if, but when they're going to come. You're, you're having clarity on what you really want, why you want it. And you're spending some time. If you created the perfect day, the perfect week, the perfect month in your life, what would that look like? Mm -hmm. Because anything that we achieve, you're going to achieve it here first. The late great Bob Proctor said, if you can see it in your, in your mind, you can hold it in your hands. Mm -hmm. You create that dream lifestyle in your head first. You write down the pain you're going to experience. If you don't achieve that, that's how you get started. So any, any questions or, or comments on that part? Uh, uh, we go back a bit uh, when you talk about the challenges that we go through and uh, what we draw from them and uh, taking the challenges that we face as uh, something important and helpful in our life. Now, it's hard that uh, the, the hard two years or three years that we've been through, and uh, many people have mentioned this, 
And uh, looking back, I see what it brought that the two years, three years that we've had uh, such challenges is what opened new opportunities that we may never have thought about before. And, and yes. it, it, it all came from a different way of thinking now because we found ourselves in uh, ho uh, in a challenge, in a position that we did not expect before. Then we start thinking differently and start doing things differently. And then if you think and do things differently, definitely you're going to achieve some different results from what you've been having. So I agree with you. Yes. Uh-huh. So... Keep on being the inspiration that you've been. You, you've been quite an inspiration to many people. And uh, as we can see, even from the comments that we are receiving. And uh, now we have people who are watching us or listening to us who have found themselves in such situations like we are talking about. But then they have not come across someone like you who can inspire them. And it's good that you're doing it now. And so if they don't have someone to inspire them, to push them along, what, what, what can they do? If they don't have someone who's going to give them a capital to start a business or maybe open them a door in their own life, how can they begin by themselves without someone holding them their hands? That's, that's a great question. And I'll, I'll give you some, some simple things to start. So number one, Everything starts in our head first. Mm -hmm. We have to be very careful of what we think about. And it's really simple. And, and people go, hey, if, if Darren, if, if, if there's a superpower that I have, I love making complicated things simple. Mm. So, and, and at first we create our habits and rituals, and then they create us. Mm -hmm. We can't expect a positive life, great things to happen with bad thinking. Mm -hmm. And we also can't expect to have great things happen, you know, good intentions with no, without any good actions. Mm -hmm. So what I would encourage each and every one of you to do is to really evaluate what do you want, where are you right now, and then go all in on working on you. When we were going through the challenging times and, you know, for years I had franchises, I was doing e-commerce, I was doing online stuff, I was in network marketing for 28 years, and all of a sudden I'm in a new career path. Well, the mm -hmm. very first month that all my speaking engagements were kicking in, I had multiple was the month everything was shut down. And so I had to create the habits and the, and the rituals that, that we create them, then they create us, mm -hmm. right? So on a daily basis, you want to make sure this is the most powerful supercomputer ever created. And mm -hmm. so what you want to do is you want to take and, and go, what am I listening to? What am I reading? Who am I associating with? Garbage mm -hmm. in, garbage out. Very simple. So I have mm -hmm. things that I do throughout my day. In the morning when I get up, the first three minutes, if you're engaging in negativity, you grab your phone, social media, you're looking at the news, right? I used to look at, I call it bad morning America. It's not good morning America. It's bad morning America. And I would <laughs> sit in my recliner and drink my coffee and I was fueling my mind with negativity the first hour of the day. Mm -hmm. well, the studies show that the first three minutes of your day, if you engage in that negativity, there's a 27% increase at the end of the day that you will say you had a terrible day. Mm. So now what I do is I get up and the first thing is that's my purpose development time where I'm listening to a sermon. I drink my 20 ounces of water. I listen to a sermon, you know, and then on the way to my office, I've got my Bible app and I'm listening to the audible version and, so then I get to my office and then I'm doing personal development. So I've got mm -hmm. the purpose development, the per, the personal development. Yeah. So my first hour, hour and a half a day, I spend two hours a day probably consuming content every day, knowing that the same version of Darren Kidd that got me to where I was is not the same version that gets me to the next level. Mm -hmm. so when, I, when I do that, it kicks off my day. It helps my filter system, you know. I'm fueling the positive, I'm blocking the negative and being intentional and proactive, not reactive about making sure that I have a good day. So even if you're just starting, if we focus on the results, mm. it was Wayne Dyer had the, the power of intention. And he goes, listen, don't link your confidence to your abilities, link it to your intentions. 
Mm-hmm. So my intention every day is to get a little bit better, a little bit better today than I was yesterday. But that one, 1% better a day is 37 times better in a year, not 37%, 37 times better. Mm. I have my things that I do throughout the day. And, and again, you have to use this with where you are. I, I work with a lot of you know corporate executives and business owners and entrepreneurs. Um, I don't care if it's a single mom, you know, that, that's working multiple jobs, but she's got her side hustle. You have to focus on what you can do where you are, what you can control, and where you're going. Mm-hmm. When they train NASCAR drivers, they go, look, don't make sure that you focus because focus equals feeling and you move in the direction that you're looking. Don't look at the wall. Don't mm-hmm. hit the wall. Don't hit the wall. You look where you want to go, not where you do not want to go. So when you're focusing on, and I have things throughout my day where I make sure that I'm keeping high energy, changing my physiology, you know, movement breaks. You know, I've got things that I do throughout the day. I have a way that I close out my evening to turn my brain off. I have meditation, mm-hmm. what I listen to at night and watch at night, knowing I'm going to marinate for the next six to eight hours on what I put in my brain before I go to bed. So when you start to do these things, at first, it's pure discipline. Mm-hmm. Hey, I'm going to be a little bit better. I'm going to be very careful what I listen to, what I read, um, who I'm around, your associations. You will become the average of the people that you associate with the most. Mm-hmm. Tony Robbins, I meant to grab that quote. I did an interview a little while ago, but basically is a quote going, listen, you will become what your peer group expects you to become, basically. The people around you influence how you see yourself and how you see yourself, that person is going to show up in real life. Your outside world is a mirror of your inside world. Mm -hmm. So every day when I'm fueling the positive, when I'm growing every single day, no matter how big, because Anthony, to be honest with you, that's why I love talking to people and motivating and inspiring, but then giving them the strategies and the techniques to change their life. Because I was the one hearing these great speakers, hearing these people with all these degrees going, man, they must come from a big city. I live in a small town. They must be a great speaker. I'll pass out in front of five people. They mm-hmm. must have a lot of money. I don't, I'm, I'm broke. Now broke is a mindset, but at that time I would say things like I'm broke. And, but when I started focusing on just getting a little bit better. Let me just focus on the process a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit better. Over a period of time, you're not the same person. So as you kick off the year, what are the habits? What are the rituals? And and Anthony, throughout the day, I use the Pomodoro method. So every 25 minutes, I take a five-minute break. Mm -hmm. And I habit stacking. So a lot of my my clients, we talk about habit stacking and, and your routines and your habits and Let's focus on the process that's going to get you to where you want to be. And so throughout the day, every 25 minutes, I'm doing push-ups. I'm doing air squats. I'm stretching. I'm drinking water. I'm tracking my water. And because performance measured is performance improved. Mm-hmm. So you go, well, Darren, what's the big deal? You do 20 push-ups in 20, you know, during that five-minute break. Well, at the end of the day, I've done 200 push-ups. 100 plus air squats, I've stretched 10, 15 times before I go to the gym. I've I drank my water. I know if I'm neglecting being hydrated, what affects my energy, me stopping and moving my body every 25 minutes, right? It, it's, it's the studies show after 10 minutes, our attention span starts to go down. Mm. So if you work two hours straight, after 10 minutes, it's just constantly going down. Well, every 25 minutes, the Pomodoro method, I'm taking a five minute break. So in two hours, my attention span has peaked four times. I'm being hydrated. I'm moving my body, my physiology. If your energy change, your life will change. I'm getting sun exposure. I'm fueling my body, being intentional about trying to fuel my body with the right things. So again, this doesn't happen overnight, but every day I'm, at first I just started taking a break every 25 minutes and drinking water. Mm -hmm. You know what? Maybe I'll add some push-ups. Maybe I'll add some air squats. Then over a period of time, I'm like, hey, I'll start adding some calf raises. Hey, I'll start stretching to get make sure my hips are loose from standing because I have a stand-up desk. And so all of these little things, they don't, you don't see a big difference in Daring Kid today. 
but compounded over the last year, there's been a big difference. Over the last two years, there's been a big difference. So as you kick off the year, what are the habits and what do you really want? What are you reading? What are you listening to? Who are you associating with? What are the habits and rituals that you can implement on a daily basis so you're focusing on the activities, the process, not the results, knowing that that's going to get you there. And those are some things that, and I don't want to get too deep, but if you just execute on those things, it will make a big difference. Mm, that's beautiful. And thank you for sharing that with us. Now, you remind me now, we've just come from a season of uh, soccer. In some places we call it football. And uh, there are celebrations. Uh, people are glued to their screens, uh, celebrating their favorite teams. And I'm going to give someone this quote that I had once, that you can't win today's game based on yesterday's scores. So it doesn't matter what you achieved last year. Now, as we are beginning this year, you've got to be determined to be disciplined, as Darren Kidd says, to work out your scores for this year. And don't focus on the school, focus on the daily activity, just as Darling said. Thank you very much. And uh, we, we, we have a question here coming from Esther Chuarira. What if you exo you're exhausted from studying that it just goes in and out of your ear? Any tricks on that? <clears throat> yes, so uh, Esther, great question. When if if you ever heard Tony Robbins or if you hadn't, it's OK, because I want to share with you. Tony Robbins goes, look, what gives us energy? People like sleep. He goes, no, have you ever had no sleep, but you were so excited about something you popped out of bed first thing in the morning. So people went through food and sleep and different things. If you change your physiology. So I get up a little after five o'clock in the morning. I used to hate mornings. Right. Um, but you have to be very careful what you think about and what you speak. Mm -hmm. What you think about, you speak about, you bring about. Thoughts are things. They're seeds. You're planning today what you're going to harvest tomorrow. We can't plant an apple seed and expect an orange. We don't plant one apple seed and expect one apple. You get a whole tree that also has a bunch of apple seeds inside the apples. So it continues to exponentially multiply. Mm -hmm. So I'm very careful of the thought process and what I speak. One negative thought is four to seven, seven times more powerful than a positive. When you speak it, it multiplies it by 10. There's a 40 to 70 times more likelihood that it's going to happen. When you change your thought pattern, your, your language, things start to change in your life. So mm. instead of me going, why do, and, and you change the questions that we ask ourselves. Why do bad things always happen to me? Mm. You know, well, guess what? You're going to get a bad answer. The quality of our life is determined by the quality of questions that we ask ourselves. You want good answers? Ask good questions. What can I learn through this? How can I grow through this? So that's a side note. Mm -hmm. But be very careful of your thoughts and your words because that affects your mental state, your emotions, and then your physiology. So when I get up in the morning, I'm seeing things like the world is conspiring to do me good. I feel happy. I feel healthy. I feel terrific. I've got massive amounts of energy, right? I'm, mm -hmm. I'm a magnet for great things. You know, man, I can't wait to see what great things come my way today. Mm. I am blessed and highly favored. But then it's our body, our physiology. It's the way we think, the way we speak. But if someone is depressed and we're exhausted, how do we stand like this? How do we talk mm -hmm. slower? less volume. How do we move like a sloth? So I can be exhausted, come to my office. That's why I have a stand-up desk because when we sit, we cut off half our energy. And then what happens with every 25 minutes, I don't feel like getting on the floor and doing push-ups. I don't feel like doing air squats, but I change my physiology. You act the way you want to feel and soon you'll feel the way you act. That motion creates emotion. Psychologists have proven it's easier to act your way into a feeling than feel your way into acting. So if I'm excited and I'm motivated and I'm and, and we create our own energy, I'm standing tall. I'm walking faster. There's all the studies. You can Google the studies. People just changing their facial expressions. Go look in the mirror and have a power pose and just smile 
and just do something to change the state of your body. And you will find that that all of a sudden you have some energy. So I, hopefully that helps. But again, change your change the way you think, change the way you speak, and then move your body. So what I do is I have things throughout the day. It's body movement breaks every 25 minutes. Move your body, hydrate, make sure you're fueling. My kids, I'm always going, look, eat for fuel, not just for fun. Yeah, it's okay that to, to, to eat some stuff every now and then that we shouldn't eat. But you can't expect, I, I ask one of my kids, I go, hey, listen, what if you bought a brand new $50,000 car? Would we pull up to the gas station and put bad gas in that car? No, that's a $50,000 car. Mm -hmm. Your body is irreplaceable. It, it's, it's worth, there's no amount of money that you could put on your body. We can't expect to put bad fuel in our body and to feel good and energetic. We have to feed our mind with the right things and we have to have the right environment. So I make sure that I have things around me, my success environment set up. I make sure that I'm associated with the right people because I know that my associations work harder on me than I work on them. We become who we hang around, right? And John Maxwell says, if you can't change people around you, you change the people around you. So I'm intent, being intent, intentional about my thoughts, intentional about my words, intentional about fueling my body with the right things and fuel and intentional about hydrating my body and intentional about moving my body. And next thing you know, I'm almost 50 years old. If you look at pictures of me 20 some years ago, I feel better. And I think I look better than I did 20 some years ago. I've got mm. more energy than I had 20 some years ago. Right. And so in my mind, I'm getting stronger every day. I'm getting healthier every day. When you have that type of attitude and you're doing the right things, you can't have good intentions with bad actions or no actions. You can't have good intentions and bad down, downhill habits, uphill hopes and downhill habits. We have to make sure that our words and our actions are in sync. And when you do that over a period of time, and there are other things too, Esther, like for example, a cold shower in the morning, Google the research on 11 minutes of cold therapy a week, what it does for your immune system. Google what hydrating does for your body, just drinking water. Google what a sauna does for your body. If you get in a sauna three times a week, I believe it is for you know, 20, 30, 25, 30 minutes. All of these little things, I just love finding hacks and, and strategies to optimize my life because you can't have it all if you do the right things. Mm. What a way, what a start to the year. Now, definitely we are going to the next level after you've listened to this and you don't take an action on what it is that uh, Bering Kid has shared with us, then I don't know. I, I don't know how we can help you. Now you've got so much to think about this first week and through the year to come out with the better results than you've had before. Now, at some point before you flashed by a book, tell us a bit about that book. Yeah. So, you know, the, 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 the day that changed everything for me, that pivotal point was when I changed my mindset. Okay. Up at that point, I was like, I want this and I want a better life. Well, want is a weak word. Mm -hmm. When I changed it to I will until, and I put that on my wall, the mindset was help, would help me stay strong enough, long enough mm -hmm. to get through to that. So the book is called I Will Until, Unlock Your Limitless Power to Succeed. It's a snack of, it's snackable content. It's the type of book I like to read. It's, you know, 100 pages, really it's about 70 pages, but it's just things in it like we talked about today. You could pretty much open and go back and read it and reread it and reread it. That's going to help you start to change the way you think, that your philosophy, your attitude is going to give you some actionable items and steps that you can go out there and make 2023, you know, your best year ever. And so that's, that's how the book came to be. Wow. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. And uh, I believe that uh, many people have got some lessons, some insights from this, what we've shared. And actually, as I say, is, oh, MG, for real. Cold showers, that's a tough one. <laughs> hey, Esther, I, I, let me tell you though, Esther, I, again, I used to say things. I remember years ago, there was a friend of mine, and when I would fly, 
I would almost have a heart attack. Mm-hmm. I, would, I would seriously like I would have a panic attack. I didn't even think I was going to be able to make it. And I remember going, saying this to a friend of mine that was a best-selling author, very successful. I go, man, we're on the way to the airport. I hate flying. I hate flying. Oh my gosh, it makes me so nervous. And he's like, can I help you? And I'm like, yeah. He goes, don't say it. And I started going, man, I love flying. Flying relaxes me. Oh, flying's enjoyable. And it was like a switch. It took a little bit of time, but over a period of time, I'm asleep before we even take off the runway a lot of times. So with the showers, I'm with you. I used to go, hey, look, forget that cold stuff. They can have it. But I wanted the results, even though I didn't like the process to get me to the results. So I started doing, I just did cryo yesterday, negative 220 degrees for three minutes. And I have no hair, as you can see. But but it, it's crazy with three minutes, but the next several hours, it's a natural high that you can't even explain. So let's think about progress, not perfection. Let's, let's talk about just getting started. So Esther, right before you get out of the shower, can you do 30 seconds? Just 30 seconds. Just turn it on cold and turn around a couple of times. Let it hit you. And it's an it's a energy boost. It boosts your immune system. There's so many things that it does. And next thing you know, your mindset gets stronger too. You're like, I can handle this. So what I like, when you, when you start to work on these things, you raise your identity. When you're around people that see more than you see in yourself, when you're around people that are higher um, temperature than you are, you start to go, man, they're no different than me. Like if they can do it, I can do it. It raises your internal, that invisible lid in your own head. When you start to get up like I did it, I used to tell people, I hate mornings. I changed my language. Then I would say, hey, I love mornings. I just wish they came later in the day. But then I started getting up at five, well, after five in the morning, and I started, hey, look, successful people do what unsuccessful people are not willing to do. Most people wouldn't get up this early, but I'm not most people. And then when I get out of my car and it's dark and no one's here at the office complex, I'm like, hey, that's why you start to feel like you deserve to have more because you're doing more than the masses. To get something different than the masses, we do something different than the masses. So when you start to, you get mentally tough, you become a mental ninja, right? And so you're doing the cold showers. You're getting a little bit better every day. Most people, they're, they're, they're doing this at night, but you're getting a little bit better. Most people, they're not doing the things we talked about, but you are. And today they don't see a big difference. But in the next 12 months, they're definitely, it's separation season. And that's exactly what's going to happen. So Esther, I'm with you on that, but you will get to the point where you're going to be telling everybody how much you love cold showers, maybe not because of the cold, because of what it does for you. But we all start out like that. <sighs> it's a separation season. Now, that's an easy one for you to remember. Separation season. <laughs> As you get started on this year, this is the separation season ss and i know that i see that you love a combination of letters now you you help entrepreneurs increase performance productivity and profits that's 3p so if you are going to walk away with something from this episode remember there is separation season and you need to have uh, be someone who is performing good and productive and with the profits for this 2023 and say that you got from Darren kid <laughs> yes yes uh it's it's all i mean we we've been through our episode but we've given them a bonus and so we thank you very much for being with us here and uh i know there are some people who would be interested to follow up with you how can they follow up with you yeah so if they go to if you are an entrepreneur or you know a company and if you go to IWillIntil.com, you can see all the information, my speaking page. If you're looking for a speaker at your next event, um, if you and, and again, I have a 12 month program that I'm in the process of rolling out. We've just enhanced it. Um, it's not for people that just want to just want to you know put their toe in. It's people that go, look, I want to make 2023 my best year ever because it is an investment. Then they just go to IWillIntil.com slash book a call. And then we can have a call and I can tell you about the program that I'm offering and see if it's a fit. But yeah, everything's on that site. But Anthony, thank you so much. I appreciate your time. And uh, congratulations again on doing amazing things and uh, excited to continue to follow your journey. 
Thank you very much to Darling. We really appreciate your time. And again, thank you to every viewer and listener. Thank you, Esther, and everyone else who's been here with us. Uh, Esther says, thank you, Andrew, and, and, and Darling Kid. Thank you. And I saw my great friend Jeannie on here, too. Great to see you, Jeannie. Okay, so and Jenny is he, uh, she has been here. We thank uh, and Esther says sounds good for real. Okay, many thanks. So we thank you, and also those people who get to listen or watch after we are through the recorded version of this. If you send us a comment, if you ask a question, we can always be willing to answer or uh, say something about it. So here we are for you, and uh, we appreciate your every minute. That's about it. That's about it for today at Now Tell Us. Remember to go to www.iwillantio.com and connect with Darling Kid. And um, yes, so that's it. But before we go, let's brief one more minute and ask Darling Kid to leave us with a few words that we should always remember. Which are they? I tell you what, I will, I will leave you with uh, maybe a couple of little quotes. And, you know, it's, it's fascinating that our brain doesn't know the difference in reality and what we tell it. And now the science proves that when we think a thought, we produce the same chemicals and endorphins as if the experience actually happened. So it doesn't know the difference in reality and what you tell it. So we can experience an experience before we ever experience it. And we move in the direction of things that we're familiar with. What we focus on, we feel. What we seek is seeking us. So have a vision of what you want 2023 to be. Helen Keller, they asked her what's worse than being blind. She said, having sight with no vision. Sight is what you see when your eyes are open. Vision is what you see when your eyes are closed. Mm -hmm. That's the magnet that's going to pull you through this year, remember, it's going to be an emotional roller coaster. There are going to be challenges. You're going to fail, but the failure is only final if you if you quit. The way I look at it is, I don't I don't fail. I win or I learn. Every time I fail, I get stronger. I learn from it if I ask the right questions. So I want to fail fast. I want to fail forward, and I want to make this year the year that we look back and go, "This was the year." that everything changed. This was the year that I stopped living in a, in a life of mediocrity. And here's the thing. Some of you have accomplished a lot that are watching this, but I'll guarantee you this, you have not hit your potential. So I believe we're created and you don't have to believe what I believe, but I believe I'm created. You're created in the image of our creator. We're created for success and the world programs us for failure. We're told more about our limitations than our possibilities and our potential. Well, I'm telling you, you got to go. In the last three years, I lost my, my, my nephew and his wife and 11-month-old babies. We're in a house fire. One baby and my nephew didn't make it. 24 years old, 11 years old. My mom, unexpectedly, 67 years old, passed away last year. 10 years ago, plus my wife's grandfather at 99. Whether you're 11 months old, 24 years old, 99 years old, we think we have time. We don't know. So the key is you... You have to have urgency. I want to do as much good as I can, as long as I can, to as many people as I can. And if we treat every day as if it's the last day of our life, one day we're going to be right. So make a decision that this is your year. This is the year that you go all in. This is the year that you start reaching toward your God-given potential. And I promise you, you make that commitment and your life is going to change. You can't change your life overnight but you can dang sure change the direction of your life overnight. I have no words to say. <laughs> <laughs> I have no words to say. And to those who've been listening, who've been with us, who've been watching, you, you better go and apply that. And, and we couldn't have had a better episode at the beginning of the year than this one with Darling Kid having a success mindset to take us to the next level of growth. It's been given to you. Go and use it. Go and apply it and become the best version of yourself. I wish you all success. I wish you everything good. And uh, 
that's about it for today. That's about it at Now Tell Us. I've been your host, Anthony Moirore. <laughs> the comments don't stop coming. We've got so many. I mean, we've stretched this episode. Now, you've left some homework uh, for Jean. She's going to think about the cold shower. And uh, we, we, we have uh, Charles Masharia who's coming, who's been watching silently. And I know there are many who've been watching silently. Charles says, powerful land a lot today. And 2023 is so packed with positive thoughts. Thanks, Anthony, for such a great guest. Oh, and thanks to our great guest. We, we really appreciate We really appreciate you, darling. Thank you for Thank taking you. your time. Appreciate you. Happy New Year. Let's crush it. Yes. Thanks. Happy New Year. So I've been your host, Anthony Morore. And together with Darling Kid, we are saying bye for now. Mm -hmm. See ya. Yeah.